What is happening, y'all? Welcome on back. Let's see where we go from here. So standard body, high frequency, infinite wig. I feel like there's got to be like a bunch of cutscenes. But first, our top story. President Hamilton returns from Pakistan today, completing his first visit to the country since the failed assassination attempt in Shabazzbad last May. In meetings with Pakistani President Farooq Salam, the two leaders agreed to a new joint initiative in the War on Terror, whereby U.S. Marines will be stationed in Pakistan and given wider authority to conduct operations within the country. This is amidst growing tensions within Pakistan between the country's civil and military leadership, with many in the government calling on the ISI Military Intelligence Agency to be investigated Unbelievable. After all that! For the last time, let it go, Courtney. At least Armstrong will never be president. But, I mean, Ryden. There he is. I have excellent news. We are approved. The new corporation is established. Nice work, Doc. I guess the world's first cyborg staffing firm is officially open for business. We are certified for construction and long-term nursing care, but this is just the beginning. The potential for new roles cyborgs can play is limitless. And we're sure this isn't child labor? The older bra uh, children can work now, the rest when they come of age. And it's strictly voluntary, you know. We're not running a charity here, huh? <sighs> Donations alone would not even cover their maintenance. Besides, this way they learn a trade, perhaps some discipline. Huh? So I guess that's what they did with it's all the brains. Not a perfect solution, but you know what? At least these kids will get a decent education. Well, I'm not about to return them to the streets or to broken homes. At least we can give them a chance. Yeah. Huh? Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Oops. <sighs> Imperfect solution for an imperfect world. Well, another benefit. A peaceful application for all my research. <laughs> <laughs> Since when do you care? Well, recent events have been food for thought, shall we say? No kid. Speaking of recent events, how's our new recruit working out? Ah, yes, quite well. Quite well. Oi, Sunny! Where you have this then? Hang on. Just give me one second. Yeah, okay. You make me head spin, you know? Mm. The same age as me, but all this spaceship? You're genius, girl. Mm -hmm. And you're hot for days. Huh? <laughs> Where did that come from? <laughs> Alert. Alert. Release in danger. <laughs> this is about a crazy world, nah? <laughs> For me, see that ninja. Me never think I've been this kind of life. Yeah. Huh? He rescued me too, you know. Saved my life. I owe him everything. To some people, he'll always be Jack the Ripper. I know all about his past. He had it rough. And he hurt a lot of people. Mm. But that's not the Raiden I know. The Raiden I know... ...is a hero. So that is it.
Man, what a fun game, though. Like, honestly, that was... I, I don't know how this game ever, like, went under my radar. Like, I swear I remember playing... I think I played a demo for it back in the Xbox 360 days. But, damn, this game was fun. Like, when did this come out? Metal Gear... Let's see. Rising came out... Initial release date was 2013. February 2013. I don't know how I passed over this. Because I remember one of the first things I did on my channel was Far Cry 3 back in the day. And Borderlands 2, which were 2012... Uh, fall 2012, so this would have come out after. How did I miss this game? God! Anyway, um... Hang on a second, winter... I wanna see what... There had to be something that came out that took all of my time. Now I'm curious, because... I don't know. Uh, let's see... Let's see, let's see... Bioshock Infinite, that was March... Legacy. February. Um, XCOM was in November. There was Mass Effect DLC. I don't know. I don't even know. What did I play? Now I'm curious. I have to, I have to check. Um, so I'm going to try and do a review while I search my channel for uh, videos here. No, here we go. I already got it up. Okay, so I did, let's see, pushing through on the channel. I did Far Cry 3. Stealth walkthrough was all of December. Devil May Cry came out in January. Oh, the start of February, I was doing Dead Space 3, which makes sense. Dead Space 3 is pretty legendary. And then I did Crisis 3, which Crisis 3 was also really good. And then I was into Tomb Raider, which was the reboot, which was really good. Damn, that sucks. This just flew under my radar, but God, what a great game. This, uh, I mean, this is the first thing to, like, really make me think of Sekiro, since Sekiro. I mean, I know there's always a lot of comparisons between uh, Sekiro and Tenchu, because it's, you know, natural evolution of Tenchu, but the battles in this, in particular, the blocking and the parrying, it reminded me so much of playing Sekiro. Like, if I had played this back in the day, I probably would have enjoyed Sekiro even more. Like, especially, I think the battle against Jetstream Sam is where I think everything was firing on all cylinders. Like, I know I, I got I got a hold of the, the combat and kind of had an idea of what I was doing a little bit before that. Like, just barely <laughs> before that. Um, but, you know, that's, that's where it really felt like everything was firing off at the same time like I wasn't even looking at my health or anything I was just in the, the fucking zone just watching the fight like this, this is really fun like honestly right now um, right now games there's just so many damn games to play that I, I don't have a lot of time but I'd definitely be up for like revisiting this on stream and playing on a harder difficulty and just doing it like you know the crazy upgrades and whatnot just to have fun maybe play it in Japanese just for shits and giggles um, at the very least, I know folks have been asking about the DLC. I do want to do the DLC because it's just more of this, which is great. Um, I'm probably going to stream the DLC, though, just because of, you know, there's so much right now. So in terms of, like, episodes, we have Ratchet & Clank. Um, those should have already started by the time this episode goes live. We have the Final Fantasy VII DLC, which I got to fit into the channel. Uh, Edge of Eternity I was going to check out on stream. Last Spell I was going to check out on stream. Chivalry 2 is a stream stream. Uh, Guilty Gear Strive, I got a code, I wanted to check that out on stream. And then Ninja Gaiden, I want to check out on stream. And then as for more YouTube shit, we got uh, both Ender Lilies and Scarlet Nexus just on the horizon. So it's like, God, right now there's just so many games. It's like, it is like the opposite uh, of a drought here. We have a game flood. There is just so much that I'm trying to cover at the same time. Uh, that it's actually like kind of hard right now. So, oh boy. Anyway, this was definitely dope. Uh, I'm glad I got to experience this, but uh, let's give it a mini review. Um, combat in this game, especially 
given that this was a 2013 title, like, bro, this holds up so incredibly well. Uh, this, I mean, it felt like a little dated at times, but for the most part, this this felt really good. Uh, combat was was crisp and responsive. Uh, you know, the alternate weapons were fun to mess around with. Like, this was just... This was a delight. That's the best way to describe it. Um, voice acting? Honestly, voice acting reminded me so much of, like, a... Uh, like, like a crappy B movie. Raiden in particular. Raiden, hey, hey, what do you think you're doing? Like, I don't know what it is, man. His, his voice cracked me up. What is this? Hunting down bad guys, I guess. Fight. Yeah, seems like it. It's hard to believe this was a 2013 game. I think that's what it comes down to. Like this is this is dope. Um, I mean, obviously the biggest weak point of the game for me was at times, like the game doesn't it doesn't really do uh, a good job explaining a lot of stuff. I mean, obviously, I didn't get uh, Zandatsu down for a long time, but. Yeah, you know, it is what it is. Like, what, what can we do? Complete normal hire in less than eight hours. Normal hire, we're earning 300,000. Normal hire, uh, only using the high frequency blade as a weapon. Normal hire, despite being discovered by enemies 50 more times. Cut enemies at least a thousand times using blade mode. All kinds of goodies. But I mean, like the Zandatsu thing, I just didn't really... I mean, I think a big part, and I mentioned this on, on the Zandatsu episode, when I like finally clicked, is just before this, I was playing Biomutant, and in Biomutant, at least, constantly we had slow-mo in combat, and what would happen is the, the combat would go into slow-mo, and then, uh, you know, that meant the fight was over. There was, you know, it didn't mean like, hey, do your finisher, it just meant like, hey, combat is done. Let's see what the DLC is here. Um, so that that was was a part of it. That definitely threw me off. And then on top of that, you know, like, I, I, I don't know, I thought back to, like, Sekiro, and then Sekiro, you, when, when, when the Kenji showed up on the screen, it meant, you know, price slain, or you died, or whatever, it didn't mean going to your combo now, so it just never even, you know, it never even clicked for me. Um, where do I find this DLC, though? I want to make sure it's on here. VR missions, story, continue, collections, options. I'd assume it's download. Impossible to connect to Xbox Live Marketplace as you are currently not signed into Xbox Live. I know for a fact I'm signed in to Xbox Live. Damn, this controller is about to die. I don't have rechargeable batteries in there. Um, hang on a second. We're going to try and We're gonna turn it off. Okay, I'm I'm guessing I'm signed in because it's Titan Cowboy. Let me every now and again with the with the older games, when you boot it, it'll sign in to Xbox Live. It might be because I put the console into sleep mode, but I got I, dude. That's another big thing here. Like, uh, even though we're playing this in 2021, Series X. Holy shit, this is this is good looking. Like this looked real good. I actually, right before I started this, I was going to get the game on PC. I did get it on PC, in fact, but I tried to boot it up and it was like really goofy. Like it didn't want to, um, it didn't want to go past like 1080. And I was like, mm, we're not, we're not doing this. 
and it was like you could get it past 1080 but you had to download like an unofficial patch and I'm just like what? I'm like, fuck this. I'm just gonna get it on Xbox. There we go. VR mission expansion. Commando armor. Cyborg ninja. This is what I want. Blade Wolf and Jetstream. All new gameplay is the prototype and Jetstream. Okay. We are gonna get both of these. You know, people always sit there and knock, uh, knock Xbox because PlayStation gets exclusives, but... I don't know, man. This upscaling and FPS boost looks pretty fucking good. Especially that I'm uh, downloading and playing a game and buying DLC for two generations ago. Meanwhile, PS5 is like, oh, you have PS3 games? Just throw those in the garbage. You can't use those here. I mean, I don't have, I don't have, you know, neck or, or, or skin in either game, you know? I actually, my, personally, my favorite uh, console is the Switch, just because what is better than being able to just lay in bed or be on an airplane or be anywhere, really? Um, and being able to, to play. I love the Switch, but... It's, uh, so now I'm gonna go here. Main this game in add-ons. Did it... Did it download them? Let me see. So how do I, I mean, I have the check mark. How do I, maybe I go to story. Customize. Oh, this is just this. What did I get an achievement? File R04 status closed. Assault with a deadly weapon. Why do I have a bunch of achievements popping up all of a sudden? This is just the regular customize screen. Hmm. Oh, it's because I didn't finish the... I must have been offline when I was... It's funny that on hard I can go through and replay all the missions, but if I'm on... Uh, if I'm on normal, it's gonna knock me back down to... You know, start from the base. Very hard. Easy. So I have to... I have to beat very hard to unlock Revengeance. Hang on, let me see. How do we access the DLC? How to access DLC, Metal Gear, Rising. You can, no, hang on, I was right. After you've activated the DLC, you can access it from the customize option. No, hang on, this is just DLC in general. I don't want that DLC. There we go, how do we access Blade? Uh, beat the game once. From the story, go to story, chapter. From the menu, go story chapter, then the boxes will show what's available, and the red boxes will be the DLC missions. No, there are no red boxes. Wait, switch screen. Oh, no, it's just this. Huh, how do I get over to it? What? One thing is saying you need to enter the OG Konami code at the start screen. What the f what the hell? This is after beating the game or putting in the Konami code. Up, up, down, down, left, right, left, right, B, A, start. Hang on. I can't, there's no way. Is that, why would that unlock it? How? This is so weird. Alright, um... Up, up, down, down, left, right, left, right, B, A, start. Metal Gear Rising. Revengeance. Okay, that, yeah, he, okay. Right, and we'll see Metal Gear Rising Revengeance if you do it correctly.
They're still not here, though. That's so weird. Huh. All right, well, either way, we're going to wrap up. Um, I don't know why they aren't showing up for me, but this is definitely something I want to do, so I'm just going to have to fiddle around with it a bit. If I go to new game, starting to reset your game progress, blah, 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 no. Yeah, I don't know why I can't access this. This is going to bother me. How to access. It's so weird. There we go. Here's another thread. To access the DLC, when you go to story mode, you don't even need to make a new game. The world story... Huh. I'm thinking maybe it didn't fully install. Hang on. I'm, I'm, I'm in too deep. We need to do this. We need to get this working. already purchased and may have downloaded it. Let me go to download again. Find your game at games and apps. Select manage games. You'll see it listed under your ready to install. Wait, here we go. Games and add-ons. Give me, give me DLC. Maybe I should play more old school games like Castlevania Lords of Shadows. I heard that's really good. This is not working. All right, well, we're wrapping up here. Um, I got to figure out why it's not downloading. Because I definitely want to play more of this. So either way. Hopefully y'all enjoyed watching as much as I enjoyed playing. This game was an absolute blast and I think I might have like a new like kind of under the table favorite. This is uh this is good. This is really good.